thank you very much for agreeing to speak with us today. You're more than welcome. Um, can you start off by giving me a bit of history on the business here? Uh, the business here was started by my father in May 1960 and it has continued on since. Uh, my son Thomas has taken over for me the last three or four years and we're still working away. My father is still alive in China's retirement. Um, that's business which we kill all our own beef and lamb for our own farm. Um, everything we sell here is all Irish, pork, everything, chickens, all that. You don't go to the other cars? We kill our own, we have our own beef with, which is killed for us in, our, in an avatar. Ah, I see, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and in the area in Johnston here, uh, on Street Johnston, um, what changes have you seen over the years since we were working here? I'm uh, sure John Street has changed big time in the last, say, 10 years. Well, like 10, 12 years ago, you had Harney's Bakery, you had uh, Carrick's Vegetable Shop, you had Kendi's Paper Shop, Delicata, Caf Delicata the cafe or chip shop, Sillets, Pasta Cleaners, Oregans, all of them have all closed, retired, closed, ceased to business. The bakery has gone into a pub, the um, Oregans, is um what's no reason? Huh? Oh a, a, a takeaway. And a takeaway in Kendi's in paper shop as well. And that's all fairly recent that's coming in up. the last ten years. So, so Jim Jim area town has people are not going into town as much as the world I suppose and this area just has has fallen back big time. Unfortunately. Um, when, how old were you when you started in on the business? Um, here since I'm 15 years of age. And what was the street like back then? It was a very, well, very busy street. In the mornings here, the, um, from we'd start here that time around half seven, and there'd be people in the bakery from seven o'clock on for Blas. They were famous for the Blas, Harney's Blas. Sorry, they were famous for Harney's Blas. Um, you had the Boston Cleaners. You had everything. You could come down the street and you could get what you wanted. You got your meat, your bread, and your vegetables. And you had Besco's, which are gone a good few years, supermarket on the corner, which was a very big uh, uh, Besco's. And Winston and Besco's was a very big shop. What's that now, Paul? Time, times have changed, unfortunately. But even the pubs were flying here at one stage and they, that has changed as well now. You have the big crowds, like what was here before we went back years ago. But then the pub trade has changed too, it's the same as everything. And as, um, as a young boy growing up in Waterford, what was it like for you? I, watched, I always enjoyed Waterford, yes. It was always a good place to live and nice people and enjoyed. Um, what kind of stuff was there for, I suppose we're getting as like uh, entertainment? Um... Actually a lot of entertainment going back years ago, you had different things on. You had, you had ballroom blow, you had just, you know, there was people for everyone. Um, was there anything particular that you enjoyed doing? No, I always enjoyed watching the match, just part of the matches and things like that, watch matches and things like that. They were well attended or? Huh? Were they well attended? Oh yeah, well attended, yeah. Um, is the GAA, is it Hurling, sorry, or? Hurling, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Would you be, be big into that? Oh yeah, no, I was, I was fond of Hurlers, yeah. So what was, I like football as well, so. Uh, what would the buzz have been like for a match day, back before? Actually, sure, when, when the team was going well, there was always a great buzz. And when the team was not going well, I suppose, but should like last Sunday, uh, look at the crowd amount of people went to Dublin to beat Kilkenny again. <laughs> and the same result, but sure, that's the way things go. And, um, think about, can you recall any characters of the area who would have been around? Um, which was a lot of, before my time, there was a lot of old people living there in the, in the different lanes, John's Lane and all them places. And there's, 
the sad thing here at present, there's no one even living in the area now because all the old people have died and the houses are let out in flats or apartments or whatever you like to call it. No, just big, big changes really. Anyway, when you think of the Woodman pub above, you had no power, the Woodman. And if you had Harley's Bakery there, should have been Lee Flynn. You would meet all them people every morning on the street. But you don't meet anyone like that anymore. They were all people in business. Kendy's across the road, you had Paddy Kendy and the wife, Pat's son, they were there. Kathleen Brown, she's still alive actually, she's in a nursing home over a ferry bank or somewhere. She had, you had Mrs. Ronan that I was there. And then you had Tom Kerry, your man Kerry, Tom Kerry and his wife there in the vegetable shop. We all, you had McKenna's butcher shop, which where hype is now, that used to be a butcher shop back the years ago. You had the bookies, the shop next to it. You had Lupus, um, your man, Cummins to bookies added afterwards. You met all of them people on the street. You don't meet that anymore. There's no one. It's a different, different street. Can you, I come to work here in the morning and Penrose and my own Jeep are the only two cars in the street. Bark, maybe so, not in the English. That's the general. Can you, Penrose there, as he said, <clears throat> as Penrose said, the footfall has fallen big time. And people are not around. People are not coming down this area of town. There's nothing in it for them, really, to be honest with you. We're looking, we have our own customers. And we try and do good, very good, high quality stuff and meat and things. So that's that's what keeps us going. And um, if going back the years, what would Johnstown, I know you already said those like businesses and stuff open there, but like in terms of the road, like, I mean, the cars, the streets, the pavements, the buildings, what would, it, what would the area look like to walk around? And it hasn't changed that much really. Johnstown is, say, going down below is no different, and here is no different. Than, only there was a buzz in the street, and you had a lot of kind of shops and you had people, and a lot of people on the street. But you haven't, you haven't that any more. Then people are going up to town, and there, people are shopping outside the town as well, which is a big thing. Free parking. They don't have to worry about parking, you can go to Arkeen stores, you can go to Tesco Arkeen, you can go to the shopping centre in Stogan. You know, all them things. Kind of, the shops have moved out with the people, but the people are not coming into town like before, unfortunately. That pretty well covers everything. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anything. Don't you? Yeah, I'm trying to find characters in town. Yeah, just not that many I wouldn't kind of I named them there in the shops that were there that it, were on the street that's say all you would know yeah, yeah. really of that be around the street there'd be nothing um, what do you recall from your father's time that he would have said on to or any any clip of stories or anything no not really no 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 he'd by, he would know more about them than I would you know what I mean he's good with heads them <laughs> It'd be great if we can. We'll say it's only, and hopefully, it'd be yeah. great if we would be able to talk to him. Yeah, to yeah. The area. But that was very good. And no. they're not in that now. Thank you very much. That's all. You're more than welcome. Nice to help you, okay? Cheers. Thank you. All right.